Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another midnight release day unboxing. And while I was out getting Battlefield 1, I decided, you know what, there's a GameStop right next to this Best Buy. I'm going to go head in, because they were doing a midnight for Battlefield 1, and I'm going to go and get me a copy of Duke Nukem 3D World Tour 20th Anniversary Definitive Deluxe Special Edition Remix Ultra Combo, whatever whatever the titles are. And this comes with the original game, little spruced up, like the graphics are a little overhauled, but I mean it still looks like a 1996 game, I think it came out in 96. Um, obviously 20 years. So, it, it looks pretty much the same, except it's a little overhauled, where uh, it's a little, maybe a little shinier. Like, they took those pixels and shined them up a little bit, made them look better in HD, um, which has been done before, but I think this one's, like, a little bit better. I think it's, like, higher frame rate. There's better dialogue. I am mean, not dialogue, but there's better, like, voice quality to Duke. Like, they actually recorded new lines with John St. John. Um, they actually put him on the... I just want to point that out. They actually put his name... On the box, which is cool. Um, by the way, this is a retail copy of what is otherwise just a downloadable title. And I think this is like a limited thing you can get at GameStop. So if you want to get this, rush to your GameStop right now because it might not be there by the time you get there. <laughs> so rush out. Not now. Later. You know, go to sleep. Have a little nap. Play a little bit of Battlefield if that's what you that's what you went out to go get at midnight if you if you're still awake and rush out to go get this tomorrow but anyway here's the front if you if you give a shit you know if you don't then don't get it who cares uh here's the front here's the back you got duke frag like it's 1996 here's the screenshots look at that old shit here's the side did i show the side already i think i did <clears throat> let's do this let's do this i'm not even gonna try i i i, I almost attempted to try to do duke nukem uh, I've got balls of steel. There you go, that's my Duke Nukem. I've got balls of steel. Uh, I'm gonna rip off your head and shit down your neck. That's, that. there you go. <laughs> oh, that's a nice little disc. Wait, what? <laughs> that's funny. Look at the disc art. Look at that. Look where the hole is. Look at... Ha <laughs> ha, that's funny. At first I was like, that's a lazy disc art because they just zoomed in on this, on the actual front cover art. Then I thought about it, I was like, oh, that's funny. You're putting your finger through his dick. But um, there's not, no, nothing else, it's just that. Uh, I'm actually looking forward to playing this because I heard it's actually a very, very well done overhaul. A lot of people are giving it crap because it's not the most complete version of Duke Nukem 3D. There's a bunch of expansion packs that came out in the last few, like the last 20 years, and not all of them are included or something like that. I don't think any of the expansions are, but there is some new stuff, like brand new stuff. And there is, there is like new, like there's, they, they didn't just put the original game on a disc and that's it. Like a lot of other re-releases this year, you know, all the Resident Evil games. At this point, every numbered Resident Evil game, besides Resident Evil 1, has had a shitty re-release. Don't get me wrong, I love Resident Evil 4, and I love Resident Evil 5, and I like Resident Evil 6, and, and 2 and 3. But every one besides 1, the numbered ones, has had a shitty re-release that was just there to make money. Like Resident Evil 2 and 3... On GameCube, they were just re-released and they were they were the same games. Same thing for four, five, and six. They're the same games you played before. Nothing really different. No new additions. Just give us more money. Give us more money. Um, but this they actually tried. It's twenty bucks. You get a retail or downloadable. Uh, they had a developer commentary, which I don't know if you want to read. I mean, listen to that shit. But uh, insights from the team behind the original, actually. So you might want to hear that. I, I was about to say maybe it's like gearboxes, but no, it's the original. And you get a new episode, some new content. I don't know. I'm looking forward to trying this out. So anyway, after Battlefield 1 and Gears of War and all these other games I'm playing. But anyway, there you go. Duke Nukem, 3D, World Tour, whatever the hell. Thank you and goodbye.